Good morning, I'm Lauren Hayes for the Finance News Network. Markets jumped Monday, clawing back some of the steep losses from the previous week as traders looked ahead to a highly anticipated Federal Reserve meeting and new inflation data. Looking ahead to Tuesday, the November Consumer Price Index will be released and traders will be looking for a sign that inflation is slowing. The same day, the Federal Reserve will begin its two-day meeting and is expected to announce another rate hike on Wednesday. The blue chip Dow added 1.6 per cent, the S&P 500 jumped 1.4 per cent and the Nasdaq Composite rose 1.3 per cent. In company news, Microsoft has bought a 4% stake in the London Stock Exchange Group. The American software giant acquired the stake from a group led by Thomson Reuters and Blackstone as part of a $2.8 billion deal that will have the exchange rely on Microsoft's cloud services. It follows similar business partnerships by other exchanges, including NASDAQ with Amazon and CME Group with Alphabet. And in a sign that the market may be near a bottom, M&A activity picked up overnight with three deals announced. Firstly, Amgen has agreed to buy Horizon Therapeutics for $27.8 billion. The all-cash deal for Horizon, which produces treatments for autoimmune diseases, is the biggest healthcare transaction of the year. It, in beating out rivals like Johnson & Johnson and Sanofi, Amgen is paying a nearly 20% premium to Horizon's stock price on Friday. Secondly, Cooper Software stock jumped more than 27% after the maker of business software agreed to an $8 billion take private offer from Toma Bravo. And finally, Weber stock jumped 23% after the maker of grills and other outdoor equipment agreed to a $3.7 billion take private offer from BDT Capital. On the commodity front, the European Union has inked a new partnership deal with Chile that will provide greater, easier access to key metals, including lithium, copper and other raw materials for green transition. Presently, the EU imports more than 60% of the lithium used in batteries that power electric vehicles from Chile. The U.S. Energy Department said on Monday it had finalised a $2.5 billion low-cost loan to a joint venture of General Motors Co. and LG Energy Solution to help pay for the three new lithium-ion battery cell manufacturing facilities. The loan will help finance construction of new lithium-ion manufacturing facilities in Iho. Ohio, Tennessee and Michigan, supporting 6,000 construction jobs and 5,100 operating jobs at the three plants. Across the sectors, it was all green on the board overnight, with energy, utilities and tech outperforming. Energy, software, semis, transports, media and apparel were the leaders. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.7% gain. I'm Lauren Hayes. Enjoy your day.